Every December, tens of thousands of people crowd onto the Tech Tech campus for the annual Carol of Lights celebration. But behind the lights and the greenery are months of work and preparation to make sure everything is just right at that one magical moment. We have very big spools of lights. We store them off campus at a uh, off-site facility that we call Grantham uh, in a specialized trailer that's just for putting up Christmas lights. Uh, they're only in the trailer though for about seven months out of the year. Uh, five months we're either putting them up or taking them down or people are enjoying them. But putting up the decorations for a winter wonderland starts at the beginning of fall. We try to start the last week of September. Uh, we get everything out of the trailer and start putting bulbs on the wires and uh, we always start with civil engineering uh, that very first week and usually it takes us about three days to get everything out and the first building up. It takes crews nearly two months to get 18,000 lights on 15 different buildings. And though they may look the same with the traditional red, white and orange, there is something different about these lights. We've been phasing in new LED lights over the course of the last four years and we are about 80% saturation on LEDs right now. So we have about two more years left to go to phase the rest of them in. Now besides the lights, there are two other big components to the festive display. The Christmas tree near the Broadway entrance and the wreath at the Physics and Geosciences building. Well, the tree itself is uh, 35 feet tall and it's probably about 20 years old uh, and it's got right at about 1500 lights on it itself. Now the wreath we think is about 25 feet in diameter. Now since we use live greenery on it each year it kind of varies in size. The greenery for the wreath is grown right here on campus at the University Greenhouse. Once everything is ready and the celebration day is near the crews turn their attention from setting up to lighting up. Testing is a really big deal because when you flip the switch at the ceremony, you want to make sure that everything comes on like it's supposed to. Uh, we do a lot of different checks. Uh, the, as you finish each building, we take and do spot checks to make sure all the circuits are working like they're supposed to. Now the decorations will stay up till the first week in January, and what took crews three months to put up will only take them about a month to take down. For Texas Tech Today, I'm Lacey Nobles.